Hey guys, so uh, we're gonna be doing an unboxing and install of the new LED Eagle Diamond Vision lights that I got from my buddy Gary at Mudbrats. Uh, I've installed them on my machine and now we're gonna install them on Mike's machine. Really awesome lights, they have their own built-in rectifiers and they're also plug and play directly into the machine, so very, very easy to install. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you gotta pop off the bikini windshield. So it's just three rubber grommets that come off super easy. And then you've got to disconnect this in, this in the gauge and then this whole lid pops right off. So super easy. And now you have to take off these two torx bits that are holding the gauge on. After those two screws come off, this whole cluster will pull back and this glove box will come out. And then you have to take off all of these connections. Now that whole gauge cluster comes off. And now we're able to work in here. So we gotta disconnect the plugins for the normal halogen bulbs. And then in order to get these bulbs out, you wanna twist them in a counterclockwise motion. And they pull right out just like that. And those come right out. And now we can install the new bulbs. So first thing you wanna do is put these in on a little bit of an angle and then those will screw will will tighten when you when you make a clockwise motion and tighten them now as you can see you want those diodes to be facing completely vertical and right now they're not facing vertical so we got to pull this out and adjust that now in the box it comes with a little Allen key that you can adjust this whole assembly. So if you're looking right there, as we saw, it was on a little bit more that way. So we gotta take this out. Okay, put that here so we don't lose it. And now because it was sitting like this, you want to bring this down, usually two holes. So now it's down two holes. I'm gonna just put this in loosely. I'm not gonna tighten it completely and then we're gonna put it in and see if the diode's facing completely vertical. Put it through the opening over here and then you have to look at the light. It's gonna come through and you'll see when I tighten it, it's completely straight. And if you look at that bulb, you see how the high beam diode, the one that's a little more forward, is above the low beam diode, which is how it should be. Because if you reverse it, your low beam is gonna be your high beam and vice versa. Okay, now for the second ball, I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the first one, which is to take out this little Allen key so I can adjust the angle. So I adjusted the angle on the bulb and now I can tighten back that Allen key again. And then we're going to put this dot, this one in. And as you see, now it's tight and it's vertical like it's supposed to be. Okay, then the next step is to connect the factory plugs. So super easy, plug and play, like that. Same with the other one. Super easy, and then however you want, it comes with zip ties in the bag so you can tie it up, but I 
just find that it's easy just to push down and compact it in the side, which can be done like that. Okay. Now we got to reinstall the gauge and glove box. So it takes a little bit of fiddling to make sure you get all the cords in the right area to close this. But once that's closed, you're going to put on those two torque screws again. This is going to pop on into these hinges, just like so. One, two. And then this is going to plug back in this little thing. You'll hear it click, click. And now the bulbs are installed, and here's how they look. Wow, that's bright. That's Obi, and that's I. Holy cow. Right. That's and super bright. And the last bright. thing you want to do is put on your windshield or your bikini, whatever you want to call it, and you're done. It's as easy as that. If you like that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel, where we release content on everything snowmobiles. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.